But up next, the most competitive field of the season will line up in the men's 110 meter hurdles. Well, the premier event at this year's Hercules meet, the men's 110 meter hurdles is next. Colin Jackson of Great Britain, the world record holder since 1993. Best time of the world this year by American Alan Johnson, 13.15, and there is Colin Jackson. Many people be, feel he may be uh, laying low, playing possible at the World Championships. Next to him in lane three, Larry Wade, the sensation from early 1999, trying to get himself back into form. Lane four, Olympic champion in 1996. Fourth place in 2000, Alan Johnson. Former Olympic champions, right, 1996, and twice the world champion, rounding in a form at the exact right time. And there is the Olympic champion, the powerful countenance of Anya Garcia from Cuba. Many people feel that last year was a bit of a down year in the hurdles race, but Garcia certainly timed his peak properly, winning the gold in Sydney. Next to him, the silver medalist in Sydney, American Terence Trammell, NCAA champion, 2001 world indoor champion. And I think the man to watch as far as the future goes, he's got more raw speed by a factor of like two tenths of a second than any other world-class sprinter. Former NCAA champion Dominic Arnold of the U.S. in lane seven. And in lane eight, the Olympic bronze medalist from Atlanta, Florian Schwarthoff. And he would be the center of this basketball team of world-class hurdlers. He's six feet, seven inches tall. One of the things to watch here when you see people fly out of the blocks here and go over the hurdles, if you're six inches off on your steps between the hurdles, you'll either run the risk of crashing them or, or riding them and running into problems on the following hurdle. Danger lurks with every step in this race and you're going virtually all out. The hurdles are three and a half feet high. And that's one of the reasons Alan Johnson has an advantage when there's a tailwind. He had only five feet ten inches doesn't really have to worry much about coming up on the hurdles. He and Trammell, both coached by the same great hurdle genius, Curtis Fry, as is Melissa Morrison and Anjanette Kirkland. good start. Alan Johnson out well in lane four. It's Johnson of the U.S. and Garcia of Cuba side by side. Garcia looks to have the slightest little bit of an advantage. Garcia of Cuba, the Olympic champion, will beat Alan Johnson off the last hurdle but very, very close. We may have to check the photo. 13.16 into a slight headwind. And Garcia, in an important competition, takes the measure of Alan Johnson. We talked about getting out cleanly, hitting those hurdles. Garcia actually wraps the first three hurdles he's got. Johnson starts to tick them also. If you ride them and hit them, sometimes it doesn't much at all. Look how even they are. Garcia holds off the last hurdle. Now watch these two athletes stay clear here. As they get a little close to the hurdle, they start hitting them late in the race. There you see the very quick left leg. And watch him as he snaps it down as Garcia. He lunges for the tape. And the replay will actually show that the winner of the race was not the Olympic champion, Anya Garcia, in your screen. It was Alan Johnson. Look at this picture. The shoulders count. The head does not. And it was the torso of Alan Johnson that will wind up the victor. Official results of that men's 110-meter hurdles. It is Alan Johnson in a photo, but they do not give them the same time. That's a little bit interesting. Larry Wade of the U.S., a distance third, and Colin Jackson, the world record holder, 13.51 in fifth. I guess he made the right decision deciding not to go to Edmonton. Well, let's ask Alan Johnson to take us through the last hurdle and through the tape against Garcia. Well, uh, for me, through the last hurdle, I just wanted to stay composed. I mean, uh, Garcia is a hell of a hurdler, and uh, a lot of times when he's next to me, I start to make mistakes and break down, so I just wanted to stay smooth and controlled. And I felt like if I did that, coming off the last hurdle, if it was close, I, I should be able to outrun him to the tape. And uh, fortunately, I was able to do that by a few thousands of a second. Now, you're pretty uh, a con conservative guy, quiet. I've been watching you here with the media. You seem more excited than I've seen you in a while. Why? Uh, I'm excited because the race, it just felt so easy. I mean, that, that was one of the easiest runs I've had probably five, six years. And uh, to be able to run easy and run 13-16, that gives me a whole lot of confidence going into Edmonton.